Hello. Are there any haunted places near you? If so, tell us about it. Sharing is caring after all. I grew up near Ghost Road in Ontario. Have you ever heard of that one? It's pretty spooky, but it's nothing compared to what's coming on today's list, that's for sure. Never heard of Ghost Road before. It's actually really scary. Oh, dang. Been there four times. Oh. <laughs> Saw something once. Oh, a little paranormal investigator himself. Welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I am your host today, Olivia Kozlowski. And I'm Taylor McWaters, and here are the top 10 real haunted places in Thailand you should never visit. Don't, don't do it. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have Koh Lip Island. I'll be honest, this is a place that despite the spooky tales is probably still on many people's travel destinations list because it is so beautiful. Like much of Thailand, it truly is seemingly idyllic. When it comes to the haunting scene here, we turn to those who inhabit the island, the Chow Lei people. They claim to share their island with the whole host of spirits that they call the Ha Tao. You would think that a ghost filled island would keep people away, but they've found their own way to keep these spirits appeased, and that is by offering them strawberry pop and cupcakes. I mean, apparently it pays to be a spirit. Sounds pretty awesome. You get to chill on an island and you get popping cupcakes. Despite the incredible scenery and the amazing hospitality of those who are local to the island, many people report feeling some sort of uneasy presence on Kolip Island. Number nine, Watsin Suk Hell Garden. Gardens are supposed to be peaceful. It's supposed to be a place to grow, reflect, you know, swat bees for hours on end, all that good stuff. But when it comes to the Watsin Suk Hell Garden, you won't be finding any peace whatsoever. This one a little odd, a little spooky. Thailand is very spiritual, and this specific garden is home to hundreds of sculptures, each depicting the horrors that are awaiting in Buddhist hell. Yeah, they're very scary to look at. Unlike other gardens in Thailand, this one was built quite recently, believe it or not. The hell garden was built in 1986. Now, the idea is to keep you from committing any sins, and I gotta admit, they nailed it. Yeah, pretty much did the best they could. Olivia and I like to walk through graveyards for fun sometimes, so I don't know. I personally would love to walk through this. Would you do it? In our number eight spot today, we have Mae Ram Phung Beach. For this one, we are taking a trip to the eastern coast of Thailand to the Rayong province. Here lies this beach, which attracts tourists from all over the world. Earlier this year, the shores of this beach were actually hit with the results of an oil spill, but that isn't the most frightening thing that's happened here. Apparently, this area saw a few people who lost their lives in the water, and these horrible incidents happened quite close together. Since then, people have reported a sort of uneasy feeling as they visited the beach, and some have even claimed to have left feeling haunted and have not been able to shake the feeling. Number seven, Kokam Noi Ghost Island. Love the name, Ghost Island. Really gets to the point for this next one here. I like it. Ghost Island, Kokam Noi is located in the eastern gulf of Thailand. Now it's close to the Konbury province. There is a plethora of reasons why this island is for sure haunted. Let's list them. During World War II, American soldiers constructed a base on the island. The deep waters surrounding the islands made it a pretty ideal stop for large warships. Now, unfortunately, there were swarms of mosquitoes that were also sharing the same island. So a great amount of those soldiers died and had to be buried on Koh Nam Noi Island. Now today, there's a Muslim cemetery on the one side and a Chinese cemetery on the other. All things considered, I couldn't imagine a more peaceful resting place. In our number six spot today, we have Ayuta, a historical park. This national park is a place with incredibly rich history, and it is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The site was founded in 1350, and it became the second capital of Siam after Sukhothai. The site ended up being destroyed by the Burmese in the 18th century, but despite these ruins, even today you can still get the sense of how wonderful this place once was. With history like this, it's definitely no surprise that this place is said to be haunted. The most popular haunting story from this location is in regards to the ghost of Pu Sam Fao Sap, who is said to guard the city's treasures. Even Prince Bira of Siam reported seeing this ghostly apparition, and not many people can say that they have a royal backing them up when it comes to their paranormal claims. Number five, River Kwai Bridge. I don't like bridges in general. I have no idea how they work structurally. It freaks me out when I look at them and to think about them. When it comes to Hellfire Pass, no chance, not, not gonna do that one. First of all, big fan of the name. These are all scary names. They hint towards the impending doom, I kinda like it. The River Kwai Bridge saw brutal combat during World War II, but the Death Railway alias actually comes from the dark history during the initial construction of the River Kwai Bridge, where a countless number of prisoners or tradesmen all lost their lives while laying the 260 mile long track. The track runs from Thailand to Burma and almost all of it is deemed 
haunted. So yeah, big nope from me. Hard, hard pass on this pass. In our number four spot today, we have Tui Watana Deserted House. If you've seen Final Destination, the vibes that this spooky abandoned house is giving will definitely be a little familiar. Legend goes that a group of friends entered this house once to have a little fun in a place they probably shouldn't have been. You know, young people, everyone did stupid stuff. But it turns out there might be a higher price to pay when it comes to this place. Since then, it is said that this group of friends has seen members of the group dying in some strange or very elaborate circumstances. One passed away in a car accident, the other in a house fire. It is said that the remaining members of the group believes that they may have been the target of a vengeful spirit that was angry that they entered that house. I hope they all stay far away from roller coasters. And tanning beds, for sure. And maybe just don't drive behind any trucks carrying wood just to be safe. Number three, the Sathorn Unique. Commonly referred to as, you guessed it, Ghost Tower, the Sathorn Unique is a colossal, unfinished skyscraper, and it's gonna stay that way for probably ever. Upon first glance, this looks like any city, right? Cranes sticking out of the building, there's scaffolding just waving like a flag in the wind, it's the usual. Now, not all these construction zones, however, have this many reports of paranormal activity. This building looks massive. You stare up from the streets of downtown Bangkok and you get the chills. Even though construction began in the 90s, the building still has not been completed post-financial crisis. Now, one major incident that deems the Southern unique as haunted took place in December 2014. A photographer snuck into the building to take photos of the sunrise, but instead found the body of a Swedish man on the 43rd floor. It was determined that the man had sadly taken his own life. In our number two spot today, we have the Bayok Sky Hotel. The haunting tales of this location can be attributed to the significant number of workforce deaths that have been reported here. During the construction of this luxury hotel, it is said that three of the workers fell to their rather untimely deaths. Now, this sky-high tower is said to be haunted by the souls of those who fell. Both staff of the hotel as well as guests staying there have reported seeing things like shadows lurking through the hallways. It doesn't stop here, however. Some guests have even reported their items being moved seemingly on their own, and there's also been reports of just a general feeling of uneasiness, a feeling like they're being watched. It truly gives me shivers just thinking about it, but I'm sure stories like this only make this hotel more desirable for those interested in all things paranormal. And finally, number one, Bong Pyu Shoe Factory. We'll finish this list off with an abandoned shoe factory located in Samut Prakan. The factory suffered this freak accident that sadly led to many casualties of workers. The air compressor malfunctioned in some way and ultimately it erupted. It was quite fast and very tragic, but the factory owner continued business afterwards anyways. Now after that point, workers one by one ended up leaving. They were quitting their jobs on the spot, all claiming to have encountered the spirits of the previous workers who had lost their lives. Now word spread quite fast, so business slowed down drastically. The owner as well sadly took their own life in the same factory. So it's no surprise that the building remains untouched still to this day. Guys, that's been the top 10 real haunted places in Thailand you should never visit. Yeah, if you're thinking about traveling, do it. I implore you to. Do it safely. Just, you know, avoid all things that have the word ghost in it. It's probably <laughs> ideal. <laughs> I've been one of your hosts today, Olivia Kozlowski. I'm Taylor McWaters. See you next time on Most Amazing Top 10. Bye. Bye.